When you think of an ice age, the image that pops into your mind is probably that of land covered in white sheets of ice, humans wearing animal skin hunting desperately for food, and big woolly mammoths roaming around. But what would an ice age look like if it were to happen today? And more importantly, what would it mean for humanity? The first thing to point out is that ice ages don't happen overnight. They occur over long periods of time as the Earth goes through cycles of heating and cooling. Given the ways that humans have affected the climate, one question is obvious. Will there be another ice age? If yes, how long do we have before it begins? And how will humanity survive the next big chill? We don't yet know those answers, but that won't stop us from hypothesizing. Assuming that the next ice age would be similar to the ones that have occurred in the past, entering it would have pretty big consequences for the modern human civilization. The climate would be much colder and drier than it is today, and huge regions of lands would be covered in thick ice sheets. As a result, most of the land will become completely uninhabitable for hundreds of millions of people. There would also be a lot less agricultural land available, so it would be much more difficult to support the global population when the world becomes colder and drier. Obviously, summers would be more mellow than what we are used to today, and average global temperatures will be much lower, but in tropical areas near the equator, it would still be a little warmer. This would force most of the Earth's population to migrate to these warmer areas, which will lead to overcrowded, habitable land. The distribution of humans isn't the only thing that will change. The physical shape of the continents would also look completely different in an ice age. Many islands would be connected to their parent continents, like Tasmania to Australia and Sri Lanka to Asia. When Earth's water freezes, sea levels will drop up to 120 meters, closing the marine channels and revealing land once hidden beneath the oceans. These lands could be used for habitation and agriculture. Because most of the water on Earth's surface would be ice, there would be very little precipitation, and rainfall would be about half of what it is today. Cold air and lack of rain will affect plants and animals as well. Many species of plants and animals simply would not survive the harsh climate conditions, and many may go extinct. An ice age is declared when summer temperatures in the northern hemisphere fail to rise above freezing temperatures for several years. This means that winter snowfall doesn't melt, but instead builds up, compresses over time, and becomes ice sheets. Over thousands of years, these ice sheets start to build up themselves, and then they spread out across the northern hemisphere. Right now, the Earth is in what is known as an interglacial period, which is a relatively brief warm period between long ice ages. These warm periods typically last around 10,000 years, and that is actually how long it's been since the last ice age ended. But before you grab your skis and snowshoes, you should know that it's unlikely that we will return to the extreme cold anytime soon. Although the Earth is due for another ice age now, humans' impact on the climate has made that very unlikely. Researchers believe that increases in greenhouse gases due to the agricultural and industrial expansion that started 8,000 years ago have effectively delayed the next ice age. What's more is if we continue emitting greenhouse gases at the same rate, we may put off the next ice age for at least 500,000 years. Whenever it happens, be sure of one thing. If there are any humans left, the life they live will be dramatically different from ours. So, enjoy those beaches while you can, they won't always be here.